for us, it's because it's, it's, it's because we're dealing with it. We, we have people doing this. And so um, we're, we don't have a choice. Back in January, Andy Merrick attended a TCAP school board meeting, much like this one, to discuss a millage issue. Little did he know the gun on his hip would spark a larger debate. What's exciting about it is it's got a conversation going that needed to happen a year before. The school's current weapons policy says it won't tolerate the possession of firearms by staff or visitors, but that could infringe upon Second Amendment rights. A revision now prohibits visitors from possessing weapons, except those, quote, allowable by law. School leaders worked with the sheriff's office to address how to react when someone legally carries a gun on their property. If they go into a lockdown every time someone is authorized to be there, it's going to cause unnecessary stress on the staff, going to interrupt the school. Their revision to the weapons policy is a chance to spell out the district's expectations for employees. Now when you introduce people legally carrying a gun into a school and you're training about when you see someone with a gun, you know, go into certain, uh, a certain response, now you have to balance that. Merrick applauds the district leaders for the efforts they've made. What they've done here with the different policies, it's a good step in the right direction of clarifying things, cleaning up the language. Um, there's still some tweaking that needs to occur, 